Okay, so recently I bought the new Fire TV Stick 4K Max and here's the first thing that I noticed about the remote. You not only get a volume and power button options in the new Fire TV Stick remote, but you also find full branded shortcuts for Prime Video, Netflix, Amazon Music and apps. And just like that, you can remap your buttons on your Shield TV and you can also use these extra buttons to map apps on your Fire TV stick. Let's see how you can actually do it in this video. However, before we begin, there are a few, you know, caveats because there's limitations to what you can actually do. The app for the button that you're remapping cannot be installed on your Fire TV. For example, if you want Netflix button to open an app other than Netflix, you just can't have Netflix installed. Number two, buttons for pre-installed apps like Prime Video, IMDb TV and Amazon Music cannot be remapped. This is because there's no way to uninstall pre-installed apps and you cannot remap a button if the buttons app is installed. Okay, so here's the new Fire TV Stick remote. You might have a slightly different one, but the steps should be the same for yours too. So as you can see, it has Prime Video, Netflix, Amazon Music and other apps. And I'll show you how to open Disney Plus when I press Netflix button. You can also do that for other apps and I'll show you how that too. First of all, you must have the app that you want to install when you press the app button. In this case, I want to make sure that I have Disney Plus installed. Second, if the app for the button that you want to remap is installed already, you must now uninstall it. In this case, I've uninstalled the Netflix app. So let's just do that first. The reason we're doing that is because remapping an app button doesn't work if the actual app for the button is already installed on your Fire TV stick. Next up, open the downloader app on your Fire TV stick. In case you don't have a downloader app, you can go to Fire TV stick app store and download that app. Now open the downloader app and enter the corresponding numeric code in the URL field. By the way, a huge shout out to AFTV for providing all these packages. I'll leave a link for those detailed articles in the description below of this video. In my case, I want to download Remapper for Netflix, so I'll just press the code 2210. For the rest, you can see the text on the screen or in the description below. Once the correct Remapper app is installed, launch it by pressing the corresponding app button on your remote. It may take a few seconds to launch for the first time, so that's just a heads up for you. Now select the app that you want to be launched when the app button on your remote is pressed. For this instance, I'll go with Disney Plus. And then select the exit button once you're done. Now that's about it. Let me show you how it works. So if I press the Netflix button on my remote, I wouldn't be able to find the Netflix app on my TV. The Remapper app will now intercept this connection and open the Disney Plus app instead. And that's not all. What if in the future you want to change the selected app? Well, for that, you can also reset the Remap app by going to Settings, Applications, and Manage Installed Applications, and selecting the Remap app, and then selecting Clear Data. And next up, what if, if you ever want to, you know, remove the remapping, or revert back to the original way that those buttons were intended to, to launch the app that was there first. So if you want to do that, simply uninstall the Remap app, and now press the Netflix button, and if Netflix is installed on your Fire TV stick, It'll open the Netflix app just like it would normally. Simple, right? So that's one easy way to remap buttons on your Fire TV stick. Unlike the Android button remapper, here you need to manually install each and every APK for each and every button that you want to, you know, map and use the app that you want to. Is that conducive to the way you use it normally? Well, let me know in the comment section below. While you're at it, check out our other video that we've done on Fire TV stick comparing it to the older Fire TV stick in this YouTube card or in the description below. And don't forget to check out smartnewsproxy.com if you're keen to unblock geo-assisted content on your Fire TV stick 4K Max or any other device that you have. We've done videos for each and every one of those and it's just five bucks a month, so it's bugger all. I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.